be kind. Hashtag be kind. It's become such a platitude, hasn't it? I mean, it's not that I'd, it's not that I disagree. I don't disagree. I think there should be more kindness in the world. The world is a better place of kindness. Yes, I can agree on that. But it's just, it's just so vague, isn't it? It's like define kindness. Like, what exactly is kind? And I know I might be splitting hairs there, but I've got a few issues with this hashtag be kind stuff. Um, first of all, be kind over what time scale? Be kind in the short term? Be kind today? Or be kind in the long term? Can you be both? Not always possible. Second, be kind to who? You can't be kind to everyone. You can't please everybody. Be kind to you, be kind to me, be kind to the next person. Like, who should we be kind to? And if I'm kind to one person, does that sometimes mean I have to be cruel to another? And thirdly, the thing which I suppose which grates me the most about this is the fact that some people seem to be more interested in being seen to be kind than actually being kind. They're more interested in using, using the hashtag for attention rather than actually spreading kindness. So let me, let me rant about the first one, first of all. Over what time scale? It's like you can be kind to somebody in the short term but be cruel to them in the longer term. This is one of the arguments against giving beggars cash or money in the streets. You know, and please don't pile on to me if you think that's a good thing, but many people think that that's actually quite harmful in the long run. Many people on the street, beggars, are addicted to alcohol and drugs. Not all, but many are. And you don't know if they're an addict or not. I don't know if they're an addict. And this is one of the reasons why I do not give money to beggars in the streets, because, because I don't have enough information to judge whether I am perpetuating their addiction, feeding their addiction, giving them money for them to go and buy alcohol and drugs and, or whatever it is. Yeah, so I don't give them any money because I don't want to be cruel to them in the longer term. I think, I think not giving them money, being cruel in the short term is kinder in the long term. So when we say be kind, you know, does that, does that exclude harsh discipline? Tough words of correction, tough love, you know, the tough parental love of a father, maybe. A stern word, a disciplinary proceeding. You know, does it exclude these things? The, um, there's that old saying, isn't there? Sometimes you have to be cruel to be kind. And so we say, when we say be kind, we're not saying be nice. But often we, often we are, aren't we? When we say hashtag be kind, we're saying hashtag be nice. Like, no. No. Well, again, be nice over what time frame? I'd rather do it over the long term. You see, the thing, the attitude that I take is I do not want to sacrifice the longer term outcome for the short term. Therefore, you know, I don't tend to give my kids too many sweets or chocolates. I don't want them to get those bad habits. I try not to spoil them. That might be harsh in the short term. I say no a lot. I, I give them what I call vitamin N, which is no. Harsh in the short term, better in the longer term. I've just had harsh words with somebody today. Yeah, one of my team, who I like very much, great deal of affection for. Sometimes sharp words are needed from your boss. Some of the best, most productive, best learning moments of my career was when I got pulled into an office and had the curtains drawn. Be kind. Another thing is be kind to who? This is my second point. Who are we being kind to? Sometimes. We seek to please other people and we do ourselves an unkindness. Sometimes by putting someone else's needs above ours, we are cruel to ourselves. And we've got to be careful of that. I mean, when I studied psychotherapy, I was training to be a psychotherapist some time ago. Thank you, COVID, for putting an end to that. Um, you'd find people who were trying to please their partners, please their colleagues. They would, they would put, them, you know, put the needs of the colleagues above their own needs. And so they sat there not saying the things that had to be said, not doing the things that they needed to do. And they became more and more bitter over this, more and more angry, more and more resentful. And it leads to mental health conditions. Sometimes you've got to put yourself first. In my own family, you know, I've got this little boy, well, I've got three kids, but one little boy, he wants to spend all of his waking hours with me. You know, and he just wants to be with his daddy all the time, loves his daddy. And I'm very happy to have that, very grateful for that. And sometimes I need to have a romantic relationship with my wife. Sometimes we need to go on a date. Sometimes we need to have a conversation. 
and it's all about the kids isn't it it's about the kids sometimes i need to be a little bit harsh with him and say no not tonight tonight you're going to go with a babysitter mummy and daddy are going to spend some time together we're going to go for a meal do something nice together yeah you have to be you have to choose who you're being kind to and then the last thing which really grates me uh, the most is is just the the attention seekingness of this be kind stuff it's like you just when you see it on linkedin especially any social media when someone has a rant and then finishes it with hashtag be kind it's like you've just often said a lot of cruel critical judgmental things and then to position yourself in a in a place of moral superiority you've gone and said be kind you've said right i am superior to you morally speaking because i am somebody who wants the world to be a better place i'm somebody who is kind and it's it's used as a way to shame people it's used as something we say to shame people to belittle people to demoralize people and it's funny you see some of these mental health influencers and of which there are far too many i might add um, but if you go through the if you click on their profiles and take a look at some of their comments um, this isn't for all of them of course you know there are many exceptions but but yeah, some of the mental health influencers are actually quite harsh and critical in their comments. So, so some, someone might enter into a debate and a discussion with them and they get a lot of flack. And I saw one recently, one who was gloating about how they treated the so-called trolls. I, don't, I couldn't see any trolls in the profile. I just saw people with valid disagreements. Maybe a bit clumsy with their valid disagreement. But instead of, instead of, instead of engaging kindly with those people who disagree, Instead of, instead of engaging kindly, they just rip them apart. And then they were gloating about how they rip people apart and then block them because that messes with their heads. Mental health advocate taking pleasure from messing with people's heads. That's nice. That's kind, isn't it? So, see, that's not kind at all, I don't think. And ending conversations with, ah, you should do this, yeah, 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 yeah. Hashtag be kind. I don't think that's kind at all. You know what the kindest thing to do is? Listen. Ask questions. Consider their point of view. Be empathetic. Say to yourself, if I were in your shoes, I might think the same thing that you do. That's kindness walking a mile in somebody's shoes before you rip them apart and block them so i'm all for kindness i'm all for kindness but this this attention seeking be kind so this is not new by the way this is not new to social media this isn't the bloody bible i've been reading the bible a lot lately uh, not that i'm particularly religious but like in the i can't remember where it is this is in the new testament and there's something about when you give alms alms being when you donate money in the church, when you put money in the platter, when, you, when your right hand gives alms, it should be done so discreetly that the left hand doesn't know that the right hand has given the money. So here's, here's what I suggest. Like, whenever you want to be kind, keep it quiet. Don't go bragging about it on social media. Don't go making a big deal out of it. It's like, because there's a lack of purity. For me, it's about the purity of the kindness are you being kind because you want to be kind and you want to make a difference are you being kind because you just like the attention i think for most people we just like the attention far too much and when we're being kind we're planning in advance how we're going to post about it on social media and looking forward to getting the likes and the comments and the applause and so on that's impure now you might argue with me you might say yeah but will Surely, surely it's better to do something good for attention than to do no good at all. I won't be so sure about that. Because if the intention behind the action is impure, isn't that going to distort the result in some way? Isn't that going to twist things in the wrong way? It's a bit like a salesperson who says, oh yeah, you know, just come and speak to me if you need any help. Yeah, I really want to help you. You know, it's like, actually, you don't want to help at all. Some salespeople, you can feel it, can't you? They just want to sell you the most expensive product they can at, for, to, to get their commission. You can feel it with some of them, can't you? There are those who genuinely want to help, and then there are those who just want to get the commission. And I think it's the same thing with charity sometimes. There are people who do charity, not because they want to do the charity. It's because they want, they want the attention. 
And so think about the purity of action. If your intentions are pure, you're likely to do far more good, in my opinion, because you will choose your charitable, kind action on the basis of how much good it will do, not how popular that action might be. Anyway, that was quite the rant, wasn't it? <laughs> Certainly getting chilly nowadays, but I'm being kind to myself by going on a few walks a day. Anyway, LinkedIn, be kind that you, if you, uh, dog poo on the ground, that's not a very kind thing to do, they should pick that up. Be kind in your comments, please. If you have any comments, feel free to connect with me, share and so on. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Anyway, peace.